you started talking about this herd of microbes in your soil. How do you contrast that with perhaps a conventional view of soils? Okay. Sure. Well, I remember in some point in grade school, junior high, somewhere in there, they were talking about raising crops in the desert. And the, the, the saying that all you needed was the water and the nutrients, and the sand could be the medium to hold them, and you could pump it all in and do just fine. And, and that, that's probably true. Uh, I think you can grow a lot of starch that way. I don't know about nutrient density. But anyway, that was a little bit of a model in, yes. in the back of our minds and in, in all of our minds as we started farming. And, and the gist of that was that, that uh, the, the soil is, is just a, a, a sponge out there, just a nothing. It's just something to hold the nutrients that you brought in. So I think we, conventionally, we come into farming with a little bit of that idea in our, in our mind. We, we look at the soil and we, as producers, when we used to till, we'd, we'd pull it up and we'd see the roots and we'd see, we, we knew, part of us knew that, that there was more to that than just being a medium to hold nutrients. But I don't know that we really understood all of the life and we still don't understand all the life and all the interactions that were going on in the soil. But we can be pretty successful commercial or, or conventional producers without having a real good understanding of how the soil works. It's a little bit like electricity, you know. You, you turn the light switch on and the light comes on and you know there's more to it, you know. And then somebody starts kind of explaining it and you go, oh yeah, okay. And that's the way it is with people like Jay. Yep. You, know, you know there's something going on out in that soil. And Jay starts explaining it. Or Jeff Hemingway starts explaining it. And, and it's like, oh... Okay, that makes sense, you know. And a lot, some of that I have to retain, and some of it I don't have to retain. I just have to understand. Just like I don't have to understand how electricity works to run the light switch. I need a basic understanding, and and it's the same analogy. You got to look at it a long as a long-term investment. Okay, you're going to start doing some no-till, and you're going to see some good things, and you're going to see some bad things. Okay? And the bad things are going to take care of themselves as you start doing this and learn more about it. But you need to look at the things that you don't like as well and say, okay, how do I change this and make this work? Mm -hmm.